Hey, this is Luke with Salt Strong. In this video, we're going to be doing a review of these Mustad inline hooks. These are some relatively new hooks to the uh, the market. Uh, they're definitely been new to me. I didn't know about them until the last couple months. I picked some up to test them out, um, and, and I've been really happy with the uh, the results so far. And so I'm going to share the pros and the cons. The pros and the cons of what I've seen so far. These are are definitely not very popular, and I'm not, I'm not sure why. Maybe just because they haven't done a good job marketing them. But I'm going to share the pros and the cons re relative to the hooks that I've been using for the past couple of years for the same application. And, and again, explain the pros and the cons. And this is unbiased, right? We're not trying to sell you one or the other. Just want to make sure that you're making an informed decision on your tackle purchases, like always. And uh, just so you know, just so you know what these hooks are for, is that they're actually designed to replace treble hooks to be used for you know for hard plastic baits. Um, they're called inline hooks because the the eye of the hook unlike a normal j hook that the eye of the hook is actually in line with the uh, the hook point right so looking at it, it's all in line so that when you rig it on a split ring that is coming from a hard plastic lure it now runs in line versus sitting out there at the side and uh, that that's again that is the proper way to do it um, that way you can you can have uh, still have a good hookup ratio and, uh, and I've been using these for the past couple of years. I've been using this type of hook. I've gone away from, from trebles altogether. I've been super happy with it. I now recommend it for everybody because they're way safer for us, right? How many pictures have you seen with somebody with a treble hook sticking out of their hand? Um, and they're better for the fish. And also contrary to uh, like popular belief is that the actual hookup or the, the catch ratio basically remains unchanged. Um, I, do, I do find that I miss some of the smaller fish um, when I'm using these hooks versus trebles, but for the bigger fish, uh, the hookup ratio is the same, and as far as the land ratio, particularly on the bigger fish, these do better. So the overall catch ratio is unchanged, and my average catch size has increased. So again, for that reason, I now switched to these altogether. So let's get back to these individual hooks. Um, and, and so it's, we'll talk about the pros first. All right, so pro number one, I have to go with price. Price has been the most glaring benefit of these hooks relative to, in this case, the control, which is these uh, these hooks from owner. So the price point is has been glaring, has been has been very impressive. So with these must ads, for every size, you get more hooks for less money. So it's not, and it's not just like a twenty percent difference or a thirty percent difference. Um, you know, to go to, if you're using these to get the owners, you have to spend is like one point six times more. In many cases, even. 2.5 more for some sizes as well. So price is definitely number one. And so the other thing we'll talk about is, is the actual rust proofness of these hooks. I don't know if that's a word or not, but, but as far as just using these hooks in salt water, um, these have actually been withstanding the salt way better than expected. When I saw the price point, I thought they'd be cheap. I thought they would immediately be rusting. And so what I found is that when taking care of them the exact same way, I found that these mustache actually have less rust on them than these more expensive owners. So that has been uh, that has definitely been a, uh, a very surprising finding. And so the third pro I'd like to highlight is the actual strength of the hook. And and so these are the, the same size hooks. This is this this is the same size that I use for that super spook that I showed that topwater plug. And and just looking at them, this is an optical illusion, right? These hooks are next to each other. So the silver one, which is the mustache, you can see that it's just a little bit thicker. So it's a little bit thicker hook. It, it, it is less easy to bend. And, uh, and so far in using it, I have not seen any instances of bending. Whereas these owners, I've had multiple issues where the hook is, is bending, you know, catching some overslot reds. Um, again, although I would still land the fish, the hook, uh, these hooks would start bending. And that, that just kind of, I, I lost a little bit of confidence when I saw that. And I was actually using just 10 pound line and I had some bending. So. Um, so just for that reason, again, another surprising finding that these less expensive hooks seem to uh, to be a little bit stronger as well. All right, so let's start talking about the cons of these hooks. And uh, so I would say number one is just the fact that the sizing seems to be way off with these must adds. I've used multiple inline hooks other than owner, and generally the sizes are relatively similar. So a two aught is a two aught is a two aught. At least it's really close. Whereas these must adds seem to be the oddballs and the fact that the two watt isn't anywhere close to the normal two watt. So here are the packages, right? These are, they're right next to each other. And, and you can see clearly, right? Both of these are two watt size hooks, but the two watts and must add are significantly bigger than the two watts from owner. And so I'll just pull some out of the pack so you can see. I have some ready to go. 
And here are the actual hooks, and I'll just get to put them right next to each other. So it is very clear that the same, the two watt Mustad is significantly bigger than the two watt from owner. So that's a little bit disappointing. It just makes the matching of hooks to a lure more difficult. It's kind of like rods where, the, you know, a medium heavy and one brand is different than a medium heavy and another. It makes the selection process a little bit more difficult. It's frustrating, but it's just part of the game where the companies aren't at a, there's not like an all-inclusive rating system. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll make a chart just to help with, with matching the, the lures. But in general, what I found, and let me just show you these, these two hooks together that I showed earlier, is what I found is that these mustads are about two, two levels different. So when I generally am using, again, this is related to the, uh, the Super Spook Junior. For that lure and owner, I use a one knot. So I use a one knot hook there, but now that I'm using mustads, I now go down all the way to a size two. So that's two levels different. It goes one knot, then one, and then two. And so for whatever, if you're using these owners and you wanna make the switch and try these out, I recommend going down two levels. Um, it's kind of one, one and a half would be the perfect one. So you can go down one, but two is what I've found to be a little bit better. And as you can see here, right, these hooks are pretty much, are, are very similar size. And, and I'll say one con though, um, that since we're on cons on these hooks relative to one another, is that I actually like the fact that, that these, these owner hooks have more distance from the point of the hook to the actual shank. So these are right next to one another. Um, you can see that the, the mustad hook is a little bit wider, which helps for getting, uh, for getting hook sets, but it, the point comes out much further in. And so that's gonna, that's gonna hurt, right? There's less gap in between the hook point and the, the actual eye. So, so the, the fact that the gap is wider, it, it actually helps with getting hook sets, but the fact that the gap is shorter, right? It's a shorter distance from the, uh, from the actual point on the, on the vertical axis, that's gonna hurt the, uh, the hookup ratio. But again, overall, I found the actual hookup ratio to be very similar. And the good news with these, uh, with these hooks that have this larger curvature is once you get the fish hooked, they're gonna have a harder time getting off. All right, and so for the final con of these hooks is that they're really hard to find. Um, again, they're not very popular, so not many, not many places are carrying them. And uh, that's why we went ahead and just got, uh, got some, uh, some in, our, in our tackle store. So in case you wanna try them out, you can get them. They're at fishstrong.com. And just like all of the tackle on the store, the Insider Club members get a significant discount. And so if you wanna give them a shot, uh, definitely, uh, definitely recommend them. So far, I've been very impressed. Again, the price point has been shockingly different in favor of the mustads and the actual performance has actually been about the same. And then in some cases like rust prevention, these seem to be better. Um, and whereas the, the actual hookup ratio, it's pretty much the same. If, if anything, maybe these owners have a slight advantage on the actual hookup ratio, but again, the difference is very slight compared to the, uh, the price. So that's it for now. Just wanted to share the review of these hooks. If you have any experience using these hooks, please let us know. Whether it's good or bad, we will not take anything down. We, this is all about just starting the conversation. There, there's no other re video reviews that I've seen so far. And so um, this is kind of uncharted territory. So I at least wanted to show what I've seen so far and I would love to hear any feedback you have. So yeah, please do not hesitate to leave it down below. And if you need help actually putting these on, make sure to get these braid cutting scissors. We offer these in the shop as well. They have a little Salt Strong logo on them. They, they are extremely good at withstanding salt exposure as well. But most importantly is that this, this little notch here, it makes getting these split rings, particularly on smaller lures, it makes it a cinch. These are by far the best I've found. You can see this hook point, that this little point is very sharp. Again, you can quickly get in there, split it, split that ring, get the hooks on and off, and uh, in life and, and switching lures gets much easier with these pliers. So I'll put a link down below to these as well in case you don't have them. Otherwise, yeah, thank you so much for your time and watching this video. And as I said, I'd love to hear your feedback on these hooks because uh, yeah, so far after a few months of testing them out, I've been very impressed. So again, I'd love to hear your feedback. If you have used them, please do not hesitate to leave a comment down below. This is all about really just helping us all make sure that we're making smart and educated decisions on the tackle. And so any feedback would be very much appreciated. So thank you so much for your time in watching this video. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the online fishing club that actually guarantees you'll be catching more fish than ever before while saving money on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, 
Hope to see you again soon.